so onward from here on out is really new to me. Solo, no nothing. What was that? Whoa! Interesting. Hello? Sleeping pumpkin, okay. Is this pumpkin snoring? And the music is so loud in here, I can't hear myself think. Oh my god. However, there is a safe point. Looking for something? What do you mean? That laugh though. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway. What am I supposed to do? Oh. oh my hand. Okay, we're not going through there yet. Um, let's go through this door, right here. It's closed shut. The doorknob is stuck. Fuck. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go through the door on the left. It's closed shut. The doorknob is stuck. Fuck again. Alright. She's looking this way. Oh no, let's look away before you get turned into stone. What? That, that's a weird laughter they have, but okay. Blinded as a sacrifice for those in dismay. Still invited, just a childish play. Right and left, taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. Well, I'm pretty sure that means progress. Oh, yep, it does. Good. We're making progress. Oh, God. Why did the music stop? I'm getting a little concerned now. Doctors have yet to find a way to sexually transplant an eyeball. Is that really possible? I don't know. Anyway, the optic nerve that connects the eye to the brain is too sensitive to be safely reconstructed. Well, that was graphic, in a way. The window is so dirty the light barely gets through. Oh, another illustration! I want to see it once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson colored irises accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time where they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence, recollections which don't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet, here they dwell, inside of the small room where I sit. Ever reminded of these fabricated crimson irises, which replayed once and again. A thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. And yet, I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been, and always will remain, controlled by the same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had. A tremendously vivid one. A red carpet has been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall. One that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. 
Standing before me was a little girl dressed in a fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leaving me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was, not only was I real, I was alive. That girl reflected on the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet, as I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room has blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to. Live. Oh. Wait! Is this story talking about me? Probably not. Anyway. Such a sad story. Oh no! Don't cry! That's good acting right there, but... Oh. I want to see the light once again. Oh, are you the girl from the story? There's something in there. What can I do? Various dusty jars rest in the corner. Each one carrying different colored eyeballs. Quiet pumpkin charms. Ooh. That's new. Okay, I think I figured it out. Don't worry, I got this. And now I think I put my pocket meter here. This might work. Are you okay? Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. Oh God! Ew! But okay, thank you. At last, we meet again. Thank you. I better take this with me, others I'll die. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Now I think I'm supposed to put this somewhere. I don't know where. Hopefully right here. Because that's where I'm going to go. No. Nope. <coughs> Destiny. Grasping the dagger buried in her chest. A lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her face. Oh shit! Hey, little girl, get back here. <gasps> um, sure. Excuse me, miss. Yes? Could you please show me what you got there? Oh my god, what should I do? Fucking hell? Fuck no! I'm sorry. But I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. It's alright then. I'm sorry to have troubled you. 
Oh shit. Though, I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. No thanks. Am I supposed to leave? Sure. Okay, you're fine. I'll give you the mirror. Alright, just be careful. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Who had the right for you to steal this? No, please, give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything, just please, give it back. How generous of you. I'll gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Fuck. Resist and we shall take yours instead. Double fuck. Oh my god, what do I do? No fucking thank you. I am out. Actually, no, I can't leave. I don't have my mirror. Fuck. Fine. Okay. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Um. No. I better not. Fine, 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 holy shit. I forgot to have my volume all the way up, it's getting louder, shit. Fine. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Curse you, Annalisa. Oh okay, wait, who's Annalisa painting across from you? Uh, sure, I'll go with that. Oh! Fuck! No! Fucking hell! Okay, we're back to this part. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fuck! Alright, let's try this again. Yes, I'm sorry. <coughs> now run! <coughs> no! Fuck! Oh my god. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time. And whatever I make. Bye for now. We are nice up dance, we are nice up party. When time we come out, we feeling angry. Girl, come on dance and they looking sexy. When time we pass by, you know we're ready. We are nice up dance, we are nice up party. When time we come out, we feeling angry. Girl, come on dance and they looking sexy. When time we pass by, you know we're ready. This is a rock out to everybody, 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 think.